drops in the beat first. I think I think we're in. We're going now. We're live. Oh, are you recording? Okay. We're good. Uh, we're with Logan. Navratil. Yeah. Okay, you got it. <laughs> I didn't get it in the other cut. Um, what were you playing tonight? Um, it was awesome. It was really fun. Thank you. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I was playing. I was trying to play music through this. Uh, Squire by Fender Jazzmaster Baritone, which uh, I've never actually touched a baritone before this. So uh, just kind of jump on with it. It's tuned like B standard, so it's uh, nice to just drone out that low B and like just really have fun with it, let it ring out and get that really fat low end. Um, yeah, it's a great guitar. I want to play with it more. Um, I was going into an old Blood Noise Black Fountain, which I didn't use. <laughs> You forgot to turn it. I just forgot that it was even there. Uh, I had this old Blood Noise Procession reverb going. That one you used. I used that one. It's in front of the uh, Big Muff Pie, so when the reverb's on, it just softens everything up and just really washy. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Big Muff Pie fuzz um, into the Deluxe Memory Boy, another electro harmonics pedal. Um, really fun analog delay with tap tempo. It's got modulation. It actually has an effects loop. Well, we put a Earthquaker Tentacle in, but again, I forgot to turn that one on. It's it sounds cool. We'll have to do that one again because yeah. that was like yeah. We can, when we did it after, it sounded yeah, it awesome. sounded pretty cool. It and like degraded with each repeat more and more, yeah. which like yeah. there's no knobs on that. So yeah, it's just like what it is. It was cool though. I've had a lot of time to get acquainted with the Memory Boy, so. I was kind of using it like my own little synth, like playing with the, uh, like just getting it feeding back and getting it, getting that self oscillation going, and just messing with the delay knob and changing the pitch and modulating all the feedback and just making crazy, crazy sounds with it. And that was going into an EHX Holy Grail Nano on the Flurb setting, which is Flurb. I never liked it at first, but. I guess the flange kind of when grew you're on doing it. droney stuff with a baritone and B, yeah, it, it works. It's just natural. <laughs> um, and then a ditto X2 looper, which just plays back all of your mistakes over and over again for you to listen to. Yeah, <laughs> it's always like right in the middle. So you're like, oh, yeah. this is fine. I and just rolled like, with it. I, I misfretted a note really bad in the second measure there, and whatever. <laughs> just roll with it. I've heard a lot of like talk. Because of TC Electronics, they use a different switching system than everyone to get their soft switches. And like I've heard a lot of people have problems, but I've never had a problem with it, so that's good. Like the actual switch? Mechanism? Yeah, like switch breaking. Oh, breaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the inside. I've got the, the original Ditto on my board, and I got it as soon as it came out because I thought it was fantastic, and yeah. I, love, I love what TC Electronics done. They're really cool. And I was playing into the uh, Fender Bass Breaker, uh, 18 over 30. 30 watt channel still, yeah. And yeah, it's a great sounding clean amp. I've had my eye on these since Fender announced them. I thought they were really cool and they come in all sorts of configurations, combos and heads and yeah. If I was gonna get another Fender, yeah, that'd probably be yeah. probably be one of these. I don't know if it'd be this That's one specifically or maybe maybe one of the head versions, but it's a fantastic amp. You should sit the head on your <laughs> Pro Junior. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my little blues junior. Yep. Yeah. 